I know I've told you this many times, but it still stands true. From the first time I seen you, I was drawn to you. The way you walked, the way you smiled, the way you laughed when you spoke, you were so happy and it truly radiated. After meeting you, before I knew it, you were my best friend. We were inseparable, having too many beers, laughing until the sun came up. When I met you, I wasn't ready to love anyone, but you taught me to love myself. You were the exact person I needed in my life, and you built me back up again. It didn't take me long to realize I was in love with you. In that moment, I also realized I have never been more scared of anything in my life. I had to realize my love for you wasn't a choice and that God sent me you. This was the hardest but the best thing I have ever done for myself. We made the brave decision to come out together. It was scary, but look at us now. In that first year out, I lost my very last grandparent and you lost your first. But then you held my hand in one of the most weakest times of my life. I thought I loved you so much then. There was no way on this earth I thought that I could ever love you more. But then I got cancer and you took care of me in a way that many would not have. You were so strong so that I could be weak. Your overwhelming love for me allowed me to grow even more. Helene, the choice to stand here with you today was the easiest choice I ever made. Today I promise to continue this beautiful life we have grown to love. I promise to continue laughing, to continue being your best friend, and to continue to let my love grow for you. I want this love today and forever in this life and in the next life. You have made me the happiest girl in the whole USA. Natalie, my honey, I love you. As we stand together here on our beautiful wedding day of 11-11-22, I am overwhelmed with love, gratitude, and faith. Standing here before you, ready to be your wife, provides my soul with so much joy. I have been honored and blessed to have been guided in your direction, and I just continue to thank our angels and the Divine Spirit to have linked our souls together. Natalie Ray, as we're about to begin our lives as Mrs. and Mrs. Quiroz. Yes, Wayne <laughs> Quiroz. I know, I know. You can, thank, you can thank me later. I pray to always cherish our love, challenges, and faith that got us to where we are today. Standing here by your side, with our family and friends, feeling happy and free, but most importantly, living our truth. Together, as we begin our marriage, I promise to live our lives as a unit blessed by faith. Through our faith and within our prayers, we have discovered a love much deeper than we could have ever imagined. Each challenge we encounter and each blessing we have, I promise to keep our souls bound by gratitude and love. May we embrace our blessings, our new life with our angels guiding and protecting us faith fueling our blessings and challenges, and love uniting our weaknesses and strengths. May we continue to live together as one through the unity of the universe and through the connection of our souls. God, you look beautiful, baby.
welcome and thank you for gathering here on this beautiful day to witness the, this marriage ceremony. The fact you have all traveled such great distance to be here today is a testament to the amazing amount of love and support that they have. Many of you have given them much happiness, warmth, and guidance through their various stages of life. They would like to sincerely thank you for all being here to help celebrate their big day. When the evening shadows and the stars appear. Now I want to read a passage that I find fitting for these two. It's titled Destiny, Unknown. Destiny is a mysterious thing. No matter what you do or where you go, you cannot avoid it. No matter how hard you try, even putting, your, putting forth your greatest effort, you cannot force it to happen before it's time. This occasion we witness today is a destiny of two souls. There is not a force in the universe that could have been done to come together sooner. Each of you had to live your lives, lives that were stepping stones that have led to this very moment. The uniting of these two hearts and minds shall forever be more. This occasion today we celebrate is the destiny of two souls. Yes, it is destiny. <laughs> I go crawling down the avenue No, there's nothing that I wouldn't do To make you feel my love So by the power vested in me, by the state of Arizona, it's my honor. I now pronounce you the newly married couple, Mrs. and Mrs. Quiroz. You may now kiss the bride. <laughs> The way the world is right now, it's kind of crazy because there's people that don't support us. There's people that want to talk shit online. And what I have to say to them is, you kiss my ass. <laughs> The one thing I'm grateful for is you took your time to fall in love and even when you were late falling in love you obviously fell in love with someone beautiful and wonderful and I'm grateful to have so many new family members and so I just want to say thank you all and let's have some fucking fun we need ratchet music <laughs> Well, she's a part of our team. She's a part of our family forever, Miss Kiros. I love you guys, and thank you for loving my sister unconditionally and with your whole full soul. Full soul. I love you both. Thanks. Love you. If you ever see me broke, I'm probably rocking a cast. Pretty face, no waist with a big old bed. 